bicycles and tractors and all and sundry were there filling the church and it was the pattern throughout Ireland. Massively it was practised, the faith of old. And now we know that Satan wants this last jewel in his crown. And because we are dozing happily, he is managing, alas, to get it. And what he can't do from without, he is managing to do from within. But he hasn't the last word. However, it is interesting to notice that it is subtle and effective. And I remember precisely when I was in formation at Kinnagrad, being sent down regularly to the grotto at Mallory. It's just down from the monastery of Mallory. And Our Lady had appeared there in 1985. And there were still things happening there. And she had told the young men who had had this strange adventure in 1985 that we had ten ears and if we didn't listen that Satan would take over the church and we didn't understand what on earth that could mean. She had actually started by indicating that she was pleased with the people of Ireland. In 1985 there was a huge amount of practice. I was actually in Ireland in the mid-80s so it was Cray and I remember in 1986 people were still talking about the wave of the strange phenomenon referred to as the moving statues. The Lourdes grottos throughout the Republic did things. And it was precisely one of those grottos that was the centre of devotion all through the night between Saturday and Sunday. It still happens, but then it was very big. They would come by busloads and things would happen. I was there. This then was heaven trying to protect the Emerald Isle, the island of saints and scholars, the island that held firm while the rest of Europe crumbled into the Dark Ages and scholarship was maintained here, the Celtic fringe which was somewhat safe. That bit of water which we refer to as the Irish Sea does separate us from the continent and for a long time was very effective. But alas, the Trojan horse initially was soft, of course, but it was nevertheless the beginning of the end when television came into the family. And the Daily Rosary, always said in Ireland, had to struggle against that. And then, of course, the messages coming in from it, and now on internet, of course, as well, became more and more hostile and we don't realise who, of course, is doing it. However, Satan hasn't the last word, and this island still belongs to heaven, and there is a lot of sanctity still on this land, a lot of holy people, a lot of fervent prayer, fasting as well. It's one of the countries that has taken, for instance, Medjugorje most seriously. It's a constant to in Troy between Ireland and Medjugorje. And people are trying to listen quietly still to those messages from on high, warning precisely that we are in serious times. God protect Ireland and keep it still faith, faithful to the saints that gave us the faith, often under great duress, torture, deprivation, even exile and banishment by the thousand to places like the Barbados, but they didn't abandon the faith of St. Patrick.
Oh, just faithful to